Welcome viewers. In this lecture, we will be discussing about projected area and bearing pressure. So these uh, all uh, terms that is bearing pressure, projected area, they all are related with the design for compressive load. So let us take a simple case of a bar subjected to compressive load F. And if the cross section of this bar is A, stress induced in this bar A can be found out using F by A. And in this case, this stress is known as compressive stress. Uh, design stress in compression in this for this particular case is obtained by using strength, yield strength in compression divided by factor of safety. The other case of compressive load, one surface is applying load, compressive load on the other surface. Uh, we calculate this stress as sigma is equal to F by A. So, uh, this is the case when two different members are pressed against each other under the action of compressive load and both the members are having surfaces, uh, surface contact between them. The stress developed is called bearing stress. Sometime uh, it, it is also referred to as crushing stress. If the bodies have flat surfaces as in this particular case, the contact plane is shown here. Uh, if the resultant of the applied force coincides with the centroidal axis of the contact area, then the distribution of stress over this area may be assumed to be uniform. In this particular case, members are not rigidly fixed, but we assume that they are relatively at rest under the action of the compressive force F. The calculation in both the cases is same. The only the situation of action of the load and the presence of different member and how they are behaving against each other. That is just be, is changing the name to bearing stress or crushing stress. The third case which is more important in compressive uh, design for compressive load is this situation. When we have two members, one is this member, another is this member and here this particular member which is uh, circular for in this particular case is passing through these two members. So uh, th in this particular case the loading this will apply compressive load here and this member will apply compressive load here on this member which is the cylindrical pin. So this pin is subjected to compressive load here at this surface, subjected to compressive load here at this surface. So if we consider the side view of this, it will be circular and now if I consider only this particular loading then we can see that this particular load because of this cylindrical shape will apply maximum pressure here and then the pressure distribution will follow this particular path as pressure is increasing uh, and here at this uh, the diametrical opposite side the pressure is uh, almost zero because there is the only vertical component of force is the, uh, there and this vertical component force here at the uh, contact surface at the diametrical po points will be uh, zero. So pressure is maximum here and the minimum here and it reaches zero. So it pressure is varying with respect to the profile of the member. Unless we know the uh, exact profile of the pressure, we cannot find out what is the stress at different point. For simplifying our calculation, uh, for undergraduate level, we consider uh, the, not the total area that is there because the total area of contact is half of the circumference. We consider uh, another area which is known as projected area and projected area is calculated as if we take the projection of this cylindrical pin which uh, may be uh, like this that uh, this is the cylindrical pin here like this if we project this uh, cylindrical uh, pin and then we get uh, the projection is like this and we get this particular area is known as projected area we make use of the projected area and divide the force by this projected area to find out the pressure and that pressure we assume that that pressure is uniformly distributed over the contact area. It means that if we have 
uh, surfaces in contact which are having circular contact not the flat uh, contact under compressive load then in that case we must be use, we have to use uh, the projected area for calculating the stress so this case exists spatially in riveted joint where rivet is fit into hole of the plate the knuckle joint couplings so and so on so we have to only see whether the surfaces which are in contact under compressive load whether they are flat or have some circular shape if they are flat we will be directly using the contact area if they are circular in shape we will be using projected area the third important most important uh, case of compressive load is uh, this so here uh, this is the case uh, of any pin which can uh, fixed in this type of fork and the matting component may be lever it may be fork it uh, may be uh, the flexible coupling bush uh, and so on so it largely it is where we have a relative velocity between this pin and the outer uh, contacting surface so in this particular case as we know that uh, uh, when we apply compressive load and we uh, have the relative movement between those two contacting surfaces under compressive load the wear and tear is fast and the failure is governed by wear and tear not by the compressive failure so in in such cases when any two contacting surfaces whether they are cylindrical in nature or they are flat surfaces if have relative velocity between them in that case the uh, failure criteria is not the compressive uh, design compressive stress which is sigma dc the failure criteria here in this case is another term which is known as bearing pressure no doubt bearing pressure depends on the uh, compressive strength yield compressive strength that is syc but it is uh, taken uh, of the softer material and it also depends on the relative velocity between the two matting component it means that if we take two different material we have two materials of uh, different nature it may one may be mild steel another may be cast iron if we uh, use those material for example in uh, making a pin and lever arrangement the same material may uh, we may design that particular uh, component using larger bear pressure uh, bearing pressure as compared to if we use those two materials in clutches where the relative velocity is very high in that case the bearing pressure will be quite low it means bearing pressure depends it varies uh, even for the same two material it depends on the uh, uh, relative velocity what is the relative, relative velocity between two matting surfaces so i suppose it is clear let me quickly revise summarize what exactly we have uh, learned in this particular video uh, first is the compressive stress when there is only a single component member subjected to compressive load then we use compressive stress the design stress is obtained by this when we have two different component pressing against each other it is bearing stress the formula is same only the name changes sometimes we use crushing stress as well and it happens at the contacting surfaces we do not consider the compressive stress here if we find stress in this particular section it is compressive stress we call it as compressive stress we find stress in this section we call it as compressive stress but we find stress at the interface contact area we call it as bearing stress the third case is this when the uh, compressive stress is developed at the cylindrical contact surface we use uh, uh, the projected area for cal calculating compressive stress the last uh, case is uh, this when we have the contacting surfaces moving against each other whether they are flat or they are uh, um, uh, circular or cylindrical in shape in, bo in both the cases we use the design criteria of bearing pressure not of the um, this uh, design compressive stress so thank you for listening to this video thank you very much